Hello YouTube and welcome back. I'm Jamie from Graceful Pythons and today I'm just going to fill you in on what's been happening here. So since the first of the year, because I haven't been on that much, um, we had a huge snowstorm here recently and we got like 10 inches of snow, which is insane for the area of Tennessee that we're in. And um, we got snowed in, so that was fun. We just got dug out of the of our driveway. And I tell you what, shoveling snow with a regular shovel and not a snow shovel is extremely difficult and challenging, especially when you live on a hill and your driveway is on a hill. But anyways, we got dug out, so we were super excited to finally be able to go somewhere. The plan was for this weekend, before the snowstorm, that my husband was going to travel down to Florida and go to the Orlando Repticon show while, while he was down there. He was going to go visit his parents and take the two teenagers and go. And then also go to the reptile show there, the Repticon show in Orlando, and meet up with Green Dragon Brokers. Shannon has helped us out immensely, and we wanted to go down and support him and check out his table and hang out with him at the show and actually meet him in person. Unfortunately, winter happened. Winter happened, and we couldn't get out of our driveway until today. So, I figured let's go to another Repticon show. And we went to the Knoxville Repticon show today, which was really, really great. It was great to be able to see people that I normally see. It was, we ran into some vendors. We saw, it was great. BC Balls was there. I ran into a bunch of other people. It was awesome. It was really great to see that the show was not canceled, that people still showed up, even in the snow. We got diehard reptile fans here in Knoxville, Tennessee, and it was amazing. So, that's that. I wasn't going to go home with a python, with a ball python. I literally, we bought some more ball pythons. I told my husband, I'm not going to get a ball python. I just need to get out of the house. So, but I did. I did. <laughs> I did. Look at her. She's so teeny. She's so teeny. So she, this little girl we got from Storybook Serpents. Oh my gosh, she's so small. She was the, she was the small snake out of the egg of twins. So she's a twin. Her sister is like twice her size. Stole all the yolk, but she's been eating amazing. They said she's been doing great. And so we went ahead and got her. She is a lesser calico. And I think we're gonna name her Tink like Tinkerbell, so Tinker. She's so cute, because she's so dinky. So we got her. She's gonna make some bells when she's much, much older. I wanted to have at least one snake that we could potentially make bells or some cool stuff with. I've got a very beautiful, beautiful Mojave Extreme Gene possible melt that we got from Small Town Exotics, Shane at Small Town Exotics, and he's just gorgeous Bowser. So I think, Bowser and Tinkerbell are going to make some pretty babies in about three years because she's so small. But we're going to give her a couple more meals on hopper mice while she gets up some size and then we're going to switch her over to rats. But she is just super, super pretty. Let's see if I can get her to open up. Can we show you off? Look. She's so sweet. Hi. And she's just the littlest, teeniest, teeniest little baby. We also have, I also have three more snakes coming here soon. We bought, we won three snakes on an auction for Stan um, last Friday for his wife who passed away from cancer. So Ooh. cancer sucks. And losing Brian Barczyk, who is someone that's super special to me, Getting that picture there. That's amazing that I was able to do that. Um, I'm so happy that my husband splurged and bought that for me. It means the world to me. And going to see him at the Repticon, or going to see his Reptorium, and then hearing about Stan and his battle. I didn't really, haven't had much of a chance to get to know Stan. I certainly didn't get to know Brian Barczak other than on his videos. 
but I was deeply touched by Brian and Stan was really special. So I'll never forget. It was Christmas Eve morning and he was went on a live on Instagram and showed the beautiful sunrise on the beach. I had no idea this was going on with his wife at the time. I had just started following him and he just went live. It was super sweet. Showed everybody the beach on at Florida on the coast. It was just it was such a special moment for me and I thanked him for having the for doing that and giving me that present of seeing the sunrise over the ocean. What a magical time we live in where we can just see that because someone decided to share it with us on Instagram. It's amazing. And I didn't even know that he was struggling and what he was going through then. And so Stan, I'm really happy that I was able to that I found out about the Yes, they found out about the auction through Green Dragon Brokers and that I was able to purchase. I actually won three snakes from that. So we got, it's coming. I got one of the Green Dragon Broker snakes and I got two snakes from some, from Oddish. Oh no, sorry, from Blue Collar Balls. From Blue Collar Balls. And so they'll be coming in shortly and I'll definitely do a video when they come in. But I just wanted to say, especially in light of everything that's happening, Tell people you love them. Be kind to someone. Be, you don't ever know when someone's going to go, when if they're going to be here tomorrow. The one and probably the only perk to cancer is that you know it's coming. You know you could beat it or you could not beat it. So you have a chance to get your affairs in order. You have a chance to say the things that you should have said a long time ago. And unfortunately, people need a big kick in the butt in order to mend bridges. And we shouldn't wait to mend bridges when someone's going through something really awful. We should do it just because they're important to us. So if y'all need to talk to anybody, reach to me on Instagram. If you guys need, I'm, I'm also doing a Bible study. So I don't know if any of you guys are into that. I'm doing a Bible study with a group of people. I can link you into that. We, we chat about it on the Bible app. That's great. Um, it keeps me intentional about doing Bible studies and reading every day. So if, I don't know if you're interested in that. I'll just put it out there. You could jump in. We've only been doing it from, since the beginning of the year, but you could just jump in where we're at. You don't have to go from day one. You can just jump in. If you're already doing it and you've missed a couple days, just jump back in there on the day you're at now. You don't have to catch up. You don't have to catch up. Just read. Just read. Pick up where you left. Don't pick up where you left off. Pick up where we're at. Don't worry about catching up. Pick up where we're at and continue on. Just, just continue on. And if you need to say something to somebody, say it. People are important. This community is amazing. I love the the people in this reptile community. How many people would go out in the middle of a like snowstorm craziness outside and go look at snakes or sell snakes or get them out there? We saw some super cool stuff. Hang on. Hang on. We, I saw some land crabs and some tarantulas. That's all new to me. So this guy right here was super knowledgeable and so much fun to talk to. He was great. If you guys want to look him up, he was amazing. He had land crabs, which I that was so super cool. A bunch of tarantulas. He was great with the kids. He answered all their questions, and that was really cool. So we also got to see... Yeah, I don't know. That's a, I got a couple other cards, but I don't know where they're at right now. But yeah, that was great. It was fun. Don't wait until... Sorry, I'm getting a little distracted from the stuff that's going in the house. Um, ah, be good to one another. Follow your passions. Help people along the way. Make connections. If you have a falling out, don't go to sleep on it. Don't sleep on it. Don't wait forever to make it right because you'll regret it. Not everybody gets a chance to say goodbye. Not everybody gets a chance. I was just, we just left our house today and we thought we were fine, but apparently the whole hill was covered in ice and we went sideways sliding down the hill and... Well, we did get in a tiny, tiny minor car accident and luckily nobody was hurt. Our car barely had any damage. We were able to find the owner of the car that was parked on the side of the road and we're getting all that straight. But it could have been bad. It could have been bad. And so don't let, don't go to sleep angry. Fix it. Talk to whoever you need to talk to. Make this world more, put more love in this world than hate. And 
if you need anyone to talk to. This has been a tough month for the people in the community. I'm around. Reach out to me on Instagram. I'll pray for you. I'll talk with you. And uh, I love you guys. This community is amazing. I thank every one of you for everything that you have done or will do in the future. I thank you for all my little baby snakes. And uh, let's see what 2024 brings together. Thanks, guys. Hey, guys. When I was talking about Stan earlier, I forgot to tell you where him and his wife were on Instagram, what their handle is. So they are Sea of Serpent, sea of Serpent Morphs. If you're not following them on Instagram, you should. He's a great guy. Um, as always, stay blessed, and I will see you next time.